So that brings us to kind of like the approaches to trying to address that problem, the, the problem of food access. And probably the most important is this idea of food justice. So we're gonna take a look at um, what food justice means and how it applies to um, uh, food access and uh, food deserts. So what is food justice? Um, this uh, image comes from Food Corps and it's kind of one of my favorites because food, desert, food justice isn't just about food, it's really about social, social justice for everybody. Uh, food justice is an intersectional movement and it's dedicated to providing access and healthy food for everybody, but also to examining the roots of food insecurity in, in historical and structural oppression and promoting racial justice and equality. Um, so when you talk to people who are active in the food justice movements, they often describe the food justice movement as a movement of movements. And so here, there's a bunch of uh, food, uh, different movements that are at the roots of the food justice movement. So things like ecological defense, racial uh, justice, immigrant and refugee just, justice, anti-militarism, um, religious and spiritual movements, gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans and queer justice, environmental justice, feminism, gender justice, et cetera. And community building is, is also a huge part of it as well. <clears throat> and so when you think about food justice, try to expand that, uh, that definition to include you know, all of the other social movements that are related to justice. Um, food justice is often associated with racial justice because systemic fair treatment of people of all races results in um, more equitable opportunities and outcomes related to food. Uh, food justice is also about food sovereignty, which is the idea that people should have the choice um, for uh, what to eat and how to grow it and where it comes from. And then food justice is also about food security, which means um, making sure that everybody has access to adequate amounts of affordable, healthy food um, that is also culturally appropriate. And this is another of my favorite slogans related to food justice, which is that food is a human right. Um, when we think about um, human rights, we often just kind of frame it in terms of like the right to have property and the right to, you know, to vote and things like that. Um, but what good are those uh, rights of ownership and, and, you know, the franchise if you don't have access to the food that is essential to being healthy and staying alive? And so um, a lot of times in the food justice movements, we're talking about not just like making sure that people have food because that's, that's nearby and that they can have access to it, but actually seeing it as an essential human right um, that people should have access to food um, and, and that they shouldn't be, um, that there shouldn't be systems in place that prevent them from accessing that food. So what are some of the examples from the movement? Um, so I'll just present just a few of my favorite examples. Um, so one is uh, in Washington, D.C. It's called Bread for the City. Um, and I want, to, want you to notice that most of these movements, they're not just giving people food. So in this case, they are providing food, health, uh, and clothing, but they're also giving access to health care and legal services and advocacy for low-income residents. So, you know, it's not just about providing for their basic needs of food, but also trying to change the system by giving access to legal services and advocating for people who are uh, low-income residents of Washington, D.C. Um, another of my favorites is called the Cooperative Food Empowerment Movement. Um, so this is, I believe, a um, national program that has uh, resources for teachers as well that you might be interested in. Um, but this is a student-led organization that helps young people of color establish food and land co-ops that reflect uh, the values of racial justice. And so they've got this curriculum that consists of workshops for all individuals. They've got exercises and handouts designed to support student-run food co cooperatives at every stage of their development. So if you have a group of students who are on fire about food justice, this might be a way for them to get involved and to develop a program that meets the needs of their community. Um, the Food uh, Agricultural Justice Project provides a food justice certification for um, businesses and farms that um, certifies that they maintain high standards of food justice, not just in, in producing food and making that food accessible, but also in the, the work conditions and trade practices throughout that system. And they also have outreach and engagement education programs uh, too. So again, potentially another uh, resource for teachers. Uh, and then there's the Cooperative Food Empowerment uh, Directive, <clears throat> which is often called food, also called Food First. 
um, and it supports communities fighting for food justice through research, education, and action. Uh, these programs are national and global in scope, so you'll see their work not just in uh, the United States, but also uh, around the world. Um, and it's all about cultivating food justice and building global movement for, for sustainable food systems. Um, they promote agroecology, which is a way of creating farms um, that are uh, that are similar to natural ecosystems and use fewer pesticides and uh, and fertilizers um, because they have this robust system that supports the agriculture. 